It's truly remarkable, and indeed quite astonishing, that one out of every four senior citizens in the United States is attempting to make ends meet on an income of less than $115,000 annually. This staggering statistic underscores a pressing issue that demands our immediate attention. Senator Bernie Sanders has taken up the mantle, introducing legislation aimed at ensuring the long-term solvency of Social Security while simultaneously boosting benefits for eligible seniors by $2,400 per year. In recent congressional hearings, Sanders passionately articulated the urgent need to address the looming retirement crisis and expand Social Security benefits. His impassioned plea resonated deeply, reminding lawmakers that in the wealthiest nation on earth, a dignified and secure retirement should be a fundamental right for every American, not just a privileged few. Sanders didn't stop there. He drew attention to the stark contrast between the dire financial circumstances facing many American seniors and the comparatively low poverty rates among retirees in European countries like France and Denmark. This disparity serves as a stark reminder of the systemic inequalities plaguing our society and the imperative need for substantive change. During his address, Sanders underscored the moral imperative of ensuring that our seniors can retire with dignity and financial security. He highlighted the profound challenges faced by millions of elderly Americans who have depleted their savings, lack pensions, and are struggling to make ends meet on meager incomes. Furthermore, Sanders called out the alarming reality that nearly half of older Americans have no retirement savings whatsoever, leaving them uncertain about their financial future and devoid of any semblance of security. This sobering statistic underscores the urgency of implementing robust policies to safeguard the well-being of our aging population. Sanders passionately argued that the current state of affairs is unacceptable, emphasizing the need for comprehensive reforms to address the root causes of the retirement crisis and uplift the most vulnerable members of our society. He challenged Congress to prioritize the needs of working Americans over the interests of Wall Street, asserting that if bailouts can be afforded to financial institutions, then surely support for a secure retirement should be a non-negotiable priority. As Sanders aptly stated, the time for action is now. We cannot afford to turn a blind eye to the suffering endured by millions of seniors who have dedicated their lives to building our nation. It is incumbent upon us to heed Sanders' call for change, to enact policies that ensure a dignified and prosperous retirement for all Americans, regardless of their socioeconomic status. In the past, it was customary for corporations to offer workers a defined benefit pension plan, ensuring a steady monthly income during retirement. Employees were assured that their loyalty to a company over a reasonable tenure would be rewarded with a comfortable retirement fund, a notion that seemed entirely sensible at the time. The longer one remained with a company, the larger their retirement payout would be, with the employer bearing full responsibility for funding these pensions. Regrettably, those days are largely behind us, casualties of a relentless four-decade assault on the working class by corporate America. Traditional pension plans are now an endangered species hurtling towards extinction, leaving workers in dire straits. In 1983, 31% of American workers faced the risk of not sustaining their standard of living in old age. By 2020, that number had soared to 51%, signaling a distressing trend in the wrong direction. So, what's the solution to this crisis? At a time when too many seniors are grappling with poverty and insufficient retirement savings, the imperative is clear. We must expand Social Security, not diminish it, as some of my congressional colleagues propose. Legislation that I've championed, alongside nine co-sponsors, not only ensures the solvency of Social Security for the next 75 years, but also bolsters benefits by $2,400 annually for qualifying seniors. But how do we achieve this? In an era marked by egregious income and wealth disparities, the answer lies in a simple yet radical concept, ensuring that the wealthiest among us pay their fair share in taxes. Currently, a billionaire contributes the same amount to Social Security as an individual earning $168,000 per year, a glaring inequity that must be rectified. 
By removing the cap on Social Security payroll taxes for incomes exceeding $200,000, we can secure the program's financial future and enhance benefits for millions of Americans.